Police investigating. Whether Kanye West was involved in alleged battery. Police in Los Angeles have said they are investigating whether Kanye West was involved in an alleged battery. Officers were called to Sunset Boulevard around 12.30 a.m. on Wednesday after receiving reports of an incident, LAPD confirmed. West, also known by his rapper name Yee, was gone when police arrived. The alleged victim, an unidentified man, told officers that the U.S. star punched him in the face multiple times, a police spokesman said. Milo Yiannopoulos, West's chief of staff at his clothing and apparel company Yeezy, told in a statement that the incident happened after his wife Bianca Sensori was allegedly physically assaulted. The assailant didn't merely collide into her. He put his hands under her dress, directly on her body, he grabbed her waist, he spun her around, and then he blew her kisses, Mr. Yiannopoulos said. She was battered and sexually assaulted. Police took an incident report from the person who made the claims against West, but have not released any details. Although commonly interchanged with assault, a battery charge is when there is unlawful contact between the accused and the victim, according to the Old Bailey Solicitor's website. Whereas an assault is when a person intentionally or recklessly causes someone to fear that unlawful force is going to be inflicted upon them. West married Australian architect and model Sensori in 2022 after divorcing reality TV star Kim Kardashian following nearly seven years of marriage. Johnny Depp says he tried to talk director out of casting him in new film. Johnny Depp has said he tried to talk the director of his new film out of casting him in one of the lead roles. The Hollywood star plays France's King Louis XV in historical drama Jean de Berry and attended the UK premiere in London on Monday evening. Depp, 60 years old, made his return to the red carpet for what is his first feature film since the conclusion of his high-profile defamation case against ex-wife Amber Heard in the US in 2022. The film follows the life of Jean, a working-class woman who uses her intelligence and allure to climb the social hierarchy, eventually landing on the radar of the king. The character is played by French actress Mai Wen, who is also a co-writer and the film's director. Depp spoke on stage at the premiere, saying he was surprised when he was approached about the film. According to Hollywood trade publication Deadline, the actor, who is from Owensboro, Kentucky, told the audience, Instantly, what happens in your brain is that you go back to Eastern Kentucky. You realize that you come from the ombelico, nombril, the belly button of nowhere, and you're playing the king of France. It made no sense to me. I tried to talk her out of it. She wasn't hearing it, and she had great courage to take me into her cast. Jeanne de Berry received a seven-minute standing ovation when it premiered at the Cannes Film Festival in May 2023. The film is Depp's first major on-screen appearance following his lawsuits against Heard and the publishers of The Sun newspaper in the UK. In 2022, he successfully sued Heard over a 2018 article she wrote for The Washington Post about her experiences as a survivor of domestic abuse, which his lawyers said falsely accused him of being an abuser. A new song by Kim Jong unhails him as North Korea's friendly father. Kim Jong-un has released a song praising himself as the friendly father of North Korea. The new song was played at a ceremony to celebrate the opening of a new development of 10,000 homes in a district in the capital, Pyongyang, on Tuesday. Mr. Kim was met with huge crowds as he arrived at the spectacular event in an armored limousine that he was given as a gift by Russian President Vladimir Putin, according to news website NK News. Later, while sitting on top of one of the new buildings ready to cut the ceremonial red ribbon, singers serenaded Mr. Kim with the new song titled Friendly Father. The upbeat tune involved singers repeating the North Korean leader's name, pumping their fists into the air and declaring a brighter future under his leadership, according to Korean Central Television, KCTV coverage of the event. The ceremony also involved fireworks and a flyover by the Korean People's Army Air Force. A music video for the new song was aired on the KCTV network on Wednesday. 
It features scenes of Mr. Kim interspersed with soldiers and citizens bouncing up and down, while all enthusiastically doing a thumbs up sign, NK News reported. The new homes in the Hwasong district are part of the Rimhung Street development, which began in 2022 with the building of 10,000 homes. The projects are reportedly part of Mr. Kim's promise in early 2021 to employ the military to build 50,000 new flats in the capital within five years. In a visit to the Rimhung site earlier this month, Mr. Kim confirmed next year's project will also be in the Hwasong area. After sending Harry Styles 8,000 cards in less than a month, his stalker was jailed. A woman who stalked Harry Styles has been jailed and banned from seeing him perform. Myra Carvalho, 35 years old, who appeared at Harrow Crown Court sitting at Hendon Magistrates Court in London, was said to have stalked the 30-year-old English singer by sending him 8,000 cards in less than a month. She was sentenced to 14 weeks imprisonment after pleading guilty on Tuesday to a charge of stalking involving serious alarm or distress, a court official said. A restraining order lasting for 10 years was also imposed on Carvalho, who was also told she cannot attend any event where Styles is performing. Carvalho, who had been staying at a backpacker hostel in Kensington and Chelsea, southwest London, was also ordered not to contact Styles, directly or indirectly. She has been told not to enter an area of northwest London, which was described in the court, the official added. She was also ordered to pay a victim surcharge of $166. Polish man arrested over alleged Russia, plot to assassinate Zelensky. A Polish man has been arrested and charged with plans to help Russia's military intelligence carry out an alleged plot to assassinate Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, say prosecutors. The suspect, identified only as Powell K, was allegedly seeking contact with Russians directly involved in the war in Ukraine and planning to pass on detailed security information to agents about Rzeszo Jasyanka Airport in southeastern Poland. The man's tasks would help Russian special services plan a possible assassination of Mr. Zelensky, said prosecutors. He was arrested in Poland on Wednesday, the office of the country's national prosecutor said in a statement. If convicted, he could face up to eight years in prison, the statement added. Poland has been a strong supporter of neighboring Ukraine and Mr. Zelensky during its conflict with Russia. The Reso Jasyanka Airport, near the border with Ukraine, is the gateway for international military and humanitarian supplies for Ukraine. The airport is under the control of U.S. troops. Prosecutors in Poland said the arrest was the result of close cooperation with security services of Ukraine, who tipped them off and who provided crucial evidence. The case is developing, they added. In Germany on Thursday, prosecutors said two German-Russian men have been arrested on suspicion of espionage. One of them is accused of agreeing to carry out attacks on potential targets, including U.S. military facilities, in the hope of sabotaging aid for Ukraine. The two, identified only as Dieter S. and Alexander J. in line with German privacy rules, were arrested on Wednesday in the Bavarian city of Bayreuth, Germany's federal prosecutor said. A number of people, including a dual Russian-Spanish citizen, have been arrested in Poland on allegations of spying for Russia since Moscow launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. <laughs> Secretive China is hiding military projects in space, according to NASA chief. China is hiding secret military activity in space, NASA chief Bill Nelson has claimed. We believe that a lot of their so-called civilian space program is a military program. China has made extraordinary strides, especially in the last 10 years, but they are very, very secretive, he told the House Committee on Appropriations. The NASA administrator was giving evidence during a committee hearing to sign off the U.S. Space Agency's $25.4 billion budget request for 2025. He was asked by the committee's chairman, Hal Rogers, about China's very significant investments in their space programs and how NASA would maintain its edge over China. We are in a race. The latest date they've said they're going to land on the moon is 2030, but that keeps moving up. It is incumbent on us to get there first 
and to utilize our research efforts for peaceful purposes. China could claim parts of outer space as its own territory if it were to land on the moon first. My concern would be if China got there first and said, this is our territory, you stay out. Obviously, you don't want to interfere with each other, but don't declare that this whole territory is suddenly yours, said Mr. Nelson. The Artemis Accords is an agreement that requires space activity to be conducted for peaceful purposes and has been signed by more than 40 countries, including the UK. China has not signed these accords. I would hope that the Chinese space program will come to its senses and understand that civilian space is for peaceful uses, but we have not seen that demonstrated, said Mr. Nelson. China now has 499 satellites in orbit, according to the U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency. That's more than double its number in 2019. It is also developing its spy balloons and hypersonic missiles. We've got to be realistic that China is throwing a lot of money at its space program, and they've got a lot of room to grow. Their science is good, their engineering is good, and the proof is in the pudding. They've now got a space station up there, said Mr. Nelson. China's Tiangong space station is permanently manned and was constructed over three missions in 2021 and 2022. It was completed on the 5th of November, 2022. Beijing hopes to send a manned mission to the moon and plans to build a base on the lunar surface. In May last year, a Chinese spacecraft returned to Earth after nearly a full year in orbit, spending 276 days in space. State media said the uncrewed spacecraft returned to the Jiuquan Launch Center in northwest China as scheduled. It first launched in early August 2022. However, no details were given on what the spacecraft was, what technologies were tested, and how high it flew into space.